This week on DevKit Weekly, we're going to be reviewing and raffling the Adafruit Pi Ruler Engineer Reference Ruler. The Pi Ruler is a fully featured microcontroller board from Adafruit that doubles as a 6-inch long PCB reference ruler. The board also includes four programmable capacitive touch buttons with corresponding LEDs that you can use to create anything from a Simon game to panic buttons for video calls. Down this end of the ruler here, there is an embedded Adafruit Trinket M0, a development board that's built around a 48 megahertz ARM Cortex M0 Plus based microcontroller from Microchip. Additionally, the MCU itself offers 256 kilobytes of flash memory alongside 32 kilobytes of SRAM. The Pi Ruler receives power via the USB connector on the Trinket M0 side of the board and uses that same USB port to connect to your computer for immediate out-of-the-box use. The ruler also includes five GPIO header pins independent from the USB and capacitive touch buttons that can be used for any purpose your engineering heart desires as well as three ADCs, a DAC, and three extra CapTouch sensors. As you may have inferred from the name, the Pi Ruler utilizes the Python programming language, more specifically CircuitPython, which comes pre-integrated on the board and can be used in, on any operating system with or without an Arduino IDE. CircuitPython was designed specifically for use on microcontroller boards, especially low-cost ones like this, to keep the use of external resources at a minimum so you can maintain quick, simple project development. Upon connecting the Pi Ruler to your PC, you'll see a small disk drive appear containing a code.py file that you can open and edit using Python in whatever text editor you prefer to kickstart your project. As a default, the first time you open the code.py file and set the keyboard mode to true, your Pi Ruler capacitive touch buttons will then exist as a shortcut keyboard for the omega, mu, and pi symbols laid out on each button. Since any code you write or edit lives directly on the Pi Ruler disk drive, there's no need for extra software installation, compilers, or IDEs. And when the device is unplugged, your code stays right where you left it until the next time you plug it in and edit it. Now, as I touched on at the very beginning of this video, you can program your Pi Ruler buttons to do just about anything, within reason, of course. One creator decided to make different panic buttons for different video call apps like Zoom and Skype that would turn off their mics and cameras. Another decided to take a slightly less frazzling approach and made a Simon game, like back in the good old days when kids still touched grass sometimes. Of course, there are tutorials and example code available on Adafruit's website for both projects and more. The world is truly your oyster. So if you're as excited as I am to have not only custom buttons at your fingertips, but also a PCB reference ruler, because you can never have too many of those lying around, you're in luck. You can purchase your own Pi Ruler from Adafruit for just $11.95. Of course, if you're in a gambling mood, you can also enter this week's raffle linked on screen now and in the description below for a chance to win this very Pi Ruler for free. We'll even pay the shipping. That's it for this episode. So as always, thank you for watching. Good luck in the raffle, and we'll see you on the next episode of DevKit Weekly. For more content from Embedded Computing Design, including behind the scenes footage, raffles, giveaways, and just cool stuff that we're doing in general, visit us on social at the links provided in the bio below.